Are you having a hard time assessing, diagnosing, and treating hypermobile patients, patients with ligamentous laxity, maybe even Ehlers-Danlos syndrome patients, and you're wondering why you keep do going down the road of giving them external supports, braces, tape, and that's not working, and do you just keep on giving them more and more, or is there a better way to do this? Is there a way for you to give them internal support to let them use their own body to develop stability that you're missing out on? There is, and I'm gonna show you a quick example. So we have our patient, I just worked on him. So before we uh, treated him, I had him do a single leg squat and he was all over the place, couldn't control pronation, would fall over and had to stop hop, start hopping. So now if I have him do a short single leg squat, now we see pronation, 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 but then he's also coming out of it and getting into supination. This is the key. How do we do this? We re-educate his body on the neuromuscular level to stabilize and facilitate muscle contraction, joint stability. So now he's got better stability. So when he comes back today, after his first two visits, he was saying, well, I feel sore, I feel stiff. Fantastic. As long as he feels like he's getting better stability and he's getting sore in new places, that's a win because he's actually using the muscles that he couldn't use